Welcome back to Rum for the Weekend, your weekly dose of cocktail inspiration based around rum. Four, three, four, five simple ingredient cocktails, simple serves, different stuff each and every week just to kind of get your party started. So let's run down very quick. Let's run down what we've got. The first one I've got, just call it like mango, banana and ginger to be fair. Uh, we've got, I did this in a live stream uh, last weekend, just shooting. This is Bush Rums Mango uh, Spiced Rum, essentially. They use their normal spiced rum and then they've got a mango distillate that goes with it. So I've created that. That's my highball to go with that. Essentially, kind of just ginger beer, because mango and ginger goes really, really well together. So we've got ginger there. But the uh, the little addition to this, because I love rocking this out. Long life, shelf stable, perfect for your home bars. Uh, ODK's banana puree. So we've got that. You could use a banana liqueur, but the texture that the banana puree gives you is uh, phenomenal. Just quickly mention all these recipes will be in my Discord community. So I'll pop a link up on screen where you can come and get them. But you can find the recipes really easy there. So come and join us in the Discord. So that's your first re uh, re recipe, Bush Rum, mango, banana, tasty as anything. This is the second one from Bush. I've, I did, I've got four Bush Rums. I'm going to uh, do a, a couple more next week. This is the passion fruit and guava. And you could sort of loosely call this like a, a, a passion fruit and guava colada. I have used um, some ODK's uh, coconut puree, the best coconut puree on the market. This stuff is brilliant. Have a little close up look at that. Uh, 30, all these bush rums, 37.5% uh, spiced rums. Uh, so they work really well there. And then just to top that up, I have used uh, Aldi's Lilt. Uh, you could go normal Lilt or Kush Kush, but I love Aldi's Lilt. It's so good. It's half the price as well. It's really, really cracking mixer. So you've got a sort of um, uh, passion fruit and guava vibes going off there uh, with uh, hints of coconut and then Lilt, pineapple and grapefruit. That is a banging, absolutely banging simple serve. Really love that. That's going to get demolished a bit later. Uh, the third one up. And what did I call this? I've called it Lost in the Tropics. Uh, Lost Years, a UK brand of rum, uh, Lost Years rum. This is a navy strength. Let's just pop that forward for a little close up. It's a navy strength rum, 54.5% uh, rum. I mean, it'll go a lot longer as well. You could, of course, you could do, you still do your double bubbles, but as it's stronger, it'll go a lot further. So you could bring down the shot sizes if you wanted to. I've combined that up with some passion fruit liqueur. Uh, have I still got it here? There we go. I've used Pacini. I really love this stuff. This is good. Pessoa is brilliant. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely love Pessoa. But this stuff's really, really good as well. So I've combined that with some Pacini. There's a little bit of grenadine in there, a little bit of lime. And then uh, old Jamaica's tropical soda. Is that the right way around? This is a delicious highball. So simple, so easy. Just guaranteed everyone at a party is going to absolutely adore that. You can make that up in jugs, in uh, big sort of vats as well, you know, cocktail punch bowls, that sort of stuff is going to go down a treat. So Lost in the Tropics, I called that, rename it, whatever. And I called that one, sorry, Beach Vibes. I'm terrible at the name of cocktails in there, but there we go. Right. Uh, let's move on to this one. Let's uh, let's swap these around now. So this one, I went a little bit classy for this one. I've got I've got, kind of, it's a daiquiri, and it's kind of like a chocolate and hazelnut daiquiri. I've got really used to uh, and loving sort of clear daiquiris at the moment. Uh, I'll show you. I'll give you the product in a minute. But this is Belgrove's hazelnut rum. I just call it the Nutella rum. Chocolate hazelnut does exactly what it says on the tin. It is gorgeous. Absolutely proper. Um, Proper rums in there, so DDL rums, Guyon and rums in there, uh, flavoured up, naturally flavoured up with uh, hazelnut and a little bit of chocolate. Uh, so we've got a clear daiquiri. Now, obviously, daiquiri is sugar and lime. I have used um, so some milk, ODK, um, William Fox's uh, milk chocolate syrup, just to give a daiquiri that touch of sweetness. But then to keep it clear, because we want the citrus element, I have used... Uh, that's some super sour, which is kind of your citrus distillate, if you like. Uh, Non-alcoholic, long life, shelf stable. Everything I kind of promote is long life and shelf stable. That's what I'm all about. You guys at home, you know, I know I'm fully aware you're not going to get through a whole bottle of that each and every weekend. So that's what I'm all about. Long life, shelf stable sort of stuff. So we have got uh, kind of a chocolate and hazelnut daiquiri there, kind of garnished up with a little bit of chocolate because I love the chocolate. don't know. And then finally coming in here, your fifth and final cocktail for the week. Uh, I could not not do this. This is, I've just called it some, it loosely is, I've just called it a baked or sour. There are so many different ways you could do baked or sours. This is Thomas Hurst. This is his uh, cherry bomb, the actual rum itself. So again, 57%, I think this is. Uh, it's Navy strength, 57%. 
Now, but the actual, so it's a cherry, so it's a stronger cherry rum, uh, not the two swallows one, but it's got almond notes in there as well. So it's kind of like a cherry in almond rum. I've just pepped that up with even more almond notes from uh, William Fox's Orchat syrup. Uh, so we've got that. There's a touch of cranberry juice in there, uh, some bitters, and then some foamers just to kind of give it that. You could, it's, uh, sour is like an egg white cocktail, but you don't want to faff around with sour. So I've got my, I've got my foamers out to play. Most bitters, bitters, uh, miraculous foamers. These work, and that gives it that nice frothy top there. As I say, there's a little bit more to all these recipes. There's like little hints of citrus, but if you want the ratios, do come into my Discord community. There will be a link uh, popping up on screen, but in the uh, show description below, uh, come and join us. There's well over 100 of you now. It's nearly approaching 150, I think. Uh, so come and join us. That's been this week's run for the weekend. I'll be back with you next Saturday morning for five more fun rum cocktails. Spiced rum, flavoured rum, normal rum, you name it. I'll see you next week.